Hi guys, this is Hamza from Imagine Art, and in today's tutorial, we're going to explore how you can use Imagine Art to achieve character consistency across multiple generations. So, Imagine Art, being a complete creative suite, offers a wide range of features to its users. This means that users can employ a range of different workflows and features to achieve the same output. So, for example, uh, we can achieve character consistency through a, through a range of different uh, features on Imagine Art, right? The first one would be to use the edit functionality, which leverages a range of different models, such as such as SeaDream and uh, Nano Banana. Right. The first thing that you're going to do in this process is upload an image of your character. So I've already over here. You can upload the images that you have. Uh, I've already uploaded it, so I can uh, see it over here. I'm just going to hover over this image and click on select. You see how it gets added over here. Uh, next thing, I can select the aspect ratio and the model that I'm going to select is C-Dream V4. Next, I'm going to add in whatever details or whatever uh, scenario or whatever details I'd like to change. Perhaps there's a different environment that I'd like to place my character in. So the first thing I'm, that I'm going to do is change its clothes. Make the girl wear casual clothing. She is relaxing in her living room, her hair tied in a bun. And we're going to click on create. Um, while this gets generated, perhaps I can create another scenario where I can where I can make the girl wear casual clothing. She is um, in a library all right so we have our results over here now as you can see uh it's changed the girl's uh clothing and placed her in the scenarios that i asked her to be placed in but you'll notice how they haven't really changed her posture which looks kind of uh which looks kind of weird given that why is this girl squ squatting in the middle of a library so when using the edit functionality this is a certain drawback that you have to specify uh, the sort of you have to specify these details or else the the platform or the model only changes the details that you asked it to change so for example i'm going to copy this prompt again uh, and instead of she's in a library she is sitting on a chair in a library while studying this should uh, change her posture as well and make the image look even more realistic. While those generates, let's uh, analyze some of the review, some of the results that we've gotten. You see it's tied her uh, hair in a bun, uh, it's changed her clothing and maintained all of her facial characteristics. While this happens, I'm going to add in another prompt. Place the girl on a red carpet wearing a beautiful white gown she is walking um, elegantly while smiling at someone and we have our results over here as well so you see how it's uh, changed her posture as well and made her sit on a seat while maintaining her characteristics so um, in this manner you can create a range of different uh, scenarios while maintaining character consistency. If there's some other changes that you'd like to do as well, for example, uh, perhaps change your clothes or perhaps make her stand next to another uh, character that you may have, uh, you can also upload that image as well. So I'll select this character, the boy and the, gir the girl from the reference images are sitting in a cafe laughing together and we also have her images uh, from our characters images from the red carpet she's wearing a beautiful red gown you can see how it's maintained uh, the details within her facial characteristics that we were looking for so like i mentioned uh, in this manner you can achieve that consistency when the next results come we're also going to review how you can uh, i'm going to show you how you can achieve character consistency across multiple characters and have multiple characters uh, placed in a single generation in a, in, a sit, in a scenario or an environment 
of your choice. Right. So we have our results for this generation as well. You can see how it's maintained that character consistency and placed our characters sitting together. You can see how it's, um, uh, you can see the quality of the image. Sea Dream offers a very high resolution in its generations, uh, as well as you can see how it's maintained the realism in the skin's texture. Sea Dream is a model that's very good in achieving that, um, which has previously been a concern for a lot of users um, particularly who are using AI in terms of uh, realism, right? So that's that's something, that's an issue that's been resolved if you utilize C-Dream v4. So in this manner, you can achieve, a, you can generate a range of images of your characters while maintaining consistency uh, in terms of their facial characteristics and place them in different scenarios uh, and change details of their outfits while maintaining character consistency, of course. So that was the first, uh, that was the first uh, manner in which you can achieve character consistency. The second way uh, through which you can achieve character consistency would be Imagine Art's personalized character tool. You can access it from, a, from the above uh, nav bar on the platform. Once you click on it, you're going to move over to this screen right? Uh, you're going to simply click on create character and over here you can upload all of the images of your character that you have. Um, after that you can name your character over here and on this panel you can upload the training steps that you'd like to have. This means the more training steps that you include the more accurate your model is going to be trained on. I have once you're done with all of these details you simply click on train and the model is going to train on all of the images of the character that you've uploaded. I've already done this for the character that we've generated right now. So I'm just going to use it now to, I have this over here. I've named my character Ava and I'm going to use this to generate, uh, generate images and show you how you can use the personalized tool, right? So on the image generation section, the model that I've selected, these, these are the default settings I have ImagineArt 1.0 Pro selected. This is the default setting. You'll see this uh, character button over here. Once you click on it, you will be able to access all of the characters that you've trained on the platform. So you see Ava over here. I'm going to click on her and you'll see how the model window goes away. And uh, over here, the character Ava is selected. Next, I'm just going to give it a simple prompt, a beautiful girl. When you specify girl or when you specify any character, it knows that the character that you're referring to is the character that you've selected over here, right? So a beautiful girl, is sitting on the beach wearing a floral sundress. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to click on enter and see how Imagine Art maintains that consistency. While this happens also, I'm going to add another prompt, a beautiful girl wearing a floral sundress is laughing in a field in a sunny sunflower field and click on create again right guys so we have our results now from uh, the from the the model that we've trained on our character for Ava, right? So you can see how it's maintained that character consistency with her facial characteristics and placed her in the scenario that I wanted her to be in. In some of the generations, however, the uh, while it has maintained the facial consistency, uh, you can see how the posture and the uh, the posture of the model or the character isn't very uh, realistic, right? This is because I haven't specified in my prompt uh, regarding the scenario or the posture uh, in a lot of detail. As you can see, the prompt is quite simple and brief, right? So this is a drawback to consider because you have to do this when you train your character. But um, naturally, one benefit of using the personalized character workflow in Imagine Art is the fact that you don't have to constantly keep on uploading images of your character again and again. Uh, once you train a character, it's always going to remain on the platform and you can simply click the character on your image generation panel and the model, uh, the platform is going to know the character that you are referring to, right? So these were the two workflows that you can utilize to generate, um, to maintain character consistency across your generations. Uh, you can place your characters in different scenes and different scenarios. Um, after that, you can animate them, make them 
create videos out of these reference images by simply clicking on the animate button. Additionally, you can also make them say a certain dialogue. This is done through uh, JSON prompting. If you don't know what JSON prompting is, I highly recommend watching the tutorial that I've linked below. Um, also, both of these functionalities, the edit functionality and the and the personalized character functionality works across realistic and animated characters as well. So uh, this is something that can be very helpful to you for any creative projects that you're working for. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or any, fee any feedback, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.